All right, guys, here we are. So it is Monday. It is April 11th, and I am finally leaving. William Adams, the Carolina car guy, I am leaving on my Transamerica Trail journey. I'll be going on what they call the Transamerica Trail. If you don't know about it, Google it, look it up. It's a pretty cool trail. It's going to be going from North Carolina all the way to Oregon, 5,000 miles or so, and it's pretty much all off-road, so I cannot wait for the journey. Um, I wanted to show you a little bit about what I got. What I'm going to be doing is basically camping out of the vehicle, and I do have a little tent, pop-up tent that I may use on some nights whenever it's pretty. For the most part, I'll probably be in the vehicle, though, because I'm bougie like that. Um, I hollered at Smittyville, tried to get me a rooftop tent, but it's been three weeks. They weren't interested, evidently, in the journey. So, yeah, so follow along. I'm going to keep up on Expedition Portal. I'm going to keep up on uh, Toyota4Runner.org. My name on both of those uh, forms is Sir Willie SC. That's S I R W I L L Y S C. And then also I'm going to be uh, keeping up right here on Facebook as well as on Instagram too. Instagram, my name is the Carolina Car Guy. Facebook's also the Carolina Car Guy. Um, or look me up on William Adams. I'll put links to all of those down here whenever I get a chance to. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a fun adventure. And I forgot to tell you, the major caveat to the whole entire thing is, well, there's actually two. The first thing is, is I've never been camping. So this ought to be, you know, pretty exciting. Uh, the second thing is I was in a motorcycle accident on St. Patrick's Day that uh, ended up in four broken ribs and some internal um, organ stuff like collapsed lungs. And then also my collarbones kind of messed up. So um, it's definitely going to be a journey. So I encourage you to stay tuned. Um, it should be pretty cool. And I'm ready to go. Let me show you a little bit about the truck. And then from there on, I'm hitting the road. I will see you again uh, whenever I see you again. My only deadlines for the trip is... Tomorrow, I've got to meet my uncle in Nashville for a uh, little lunch and and, and uh, breakfast thing. And then in Colorado, I've got to be there April 20th. You know? Got to. So anyways, take a look around. And um, I appreciate you guys. And follow along. Thanks. All right, so here you go. It's a 2015 Toyota 4Runner Trails Premium. I've equipped it with some all-terrain all tires. Uh, they are a Nitto Terra Grappler tire. I tried to holler at them to get me a set, but I had to buy them, unfortunately. Um, I got donated that rack from Bob Carter, a buddy of mine um, here in town, and he helped uh, get me that rack. And then his son, Robbie Carter, actually, and his girlfriend put it on for me, so appreciate that, guys. Going back around to the back, there's really nothing much on the outside, as you can see. I'm going to be spending most of the time camping inside the truck, as well as i got a little tent packed. Right down here, you see a little D-hitch receiver. Um, that's pretty much it as far as the outside goes. Up on the top there, you can see I've got a, uh, it's kind of hard to see with the sun. Right here, I've got a shovel um, packed up there. It's strapped up there pretty good with bungee ties and as well as some zip ties. So um, everybody keeps saying somebody's going to steal it. But if somebody's got, you know, that much time on their hands and they need a shovel that bad, then I guess go ahead and get it. It's only 10 bucks. Right over there, the black box is a chainsaw donated by JR's Automotive here in Columbia, South Carolina. Uh, Lexington, South Carolina, actually. JR's Automotive has helped out with the trip tremendously, as you'll see here in a little bit. Also, he helped me get these tires. So thank you, JR's Automotive LLC, the way service should be in Lexington, South Carolina. Let's take a look at the inside. Well, bam. So there you have it. It's packed up. We got some uh, pillows underneath that. You see... Uh, the dark blue thing is an, a self-inflating sleeping pad by Coleman. Right below that, you can hardly see it. It's a tent just in case it gets nice and I want to sleep outside in the tent instead of inside in the truck. Um, I've also got a light-duty sleeping bag, a heavy-duty sleeping bag that was donated by my wife's uncle Chuck, who's in the military. It's a military-style sleeping bag to keep me uh, warm inside of real cold temperatures. So hopefully I don't come across any of that. That's why I wanted to leave in April. Uh, right there you see some folded up screen. Basically the way I have it set up is whenever I'm sleeping inside the car or the truck, I can roll down these windows here, put that screen inside. Notice the pinstriping right along the side there. I've got some magnets in the back um, that will actually stick along those pinstripes so that way it doesn't scratch up the paint. So pretty cool deal. Let's take a look inside the back. All right, so moving on to the back, you see I have a whole bunch of things. I've got this little $100 cooler I got from Amazon. 
Um, I'm not too very impressed with it, and let me tell you why. It actually does not keep anything um, extremely cold. Um, so it's more or less like a, a, a cooler for the ambient air, which I did not want. Uh, but I think it may work. What I did to improvise was see that little water ball right there I actually froze two of those got those in there the meat that I'm taking just for the initial part of the trip Is just going to be some bacon and some turkey for that bread that you see back there um, and some uh, chicken breast so That should keep me by um, for the first you know four days or so um, I'm I'm hoping that that's going to do the trick with this little cooler got a little table packed up I got my little stash box with a little bit of everything, and then I got my little to-go stove back there. <clears throat> uh, there's a little strap right, a little strap box right there. That little bag uh, with the kind of yellow thing on it, that is donated also by Bob Carter. Um, he let me use that. That's equipped with an emergency blanket as well as some toe straps and different things like that. Um, I've also got in the back there what we call in the South a come along. Some people call it a hand wrench. I don't think you can see it. Uh, it's kind of way back right there. Yeah, 8,000 pound capacity. First aid kit, got some duct tape, got a spotlight. Got my little toolbox there. I've got some Laundro detergent, so that way if I come across any clean creeks, JR's Automotive hooked me up with that old timey lantern that actually works. Um, and then I got a few other little doodads here and there, and you'll see them as I go throughout the trip because I'm gonna do plenty of these videos, so. Um, you'll see you know a little bit of everything that i got throughout the time i guess um on the other side i don't think there's much but let's take a look all right yeah so not much just got my uh my kicks you know i gotta have one for every outfit because i'm still gonna stay fly on my trip <laughs> what's gonna change about that uh two bags right here this bag's full of like uh toiletries as well as towels and bathing suits uh, this one right here is filled with pretty much everything. Thank you, Kevin, for hooking me up with that. Kevin Austin hooked me up with that nice little military bag. That thing holds a shit ton of things. But anyway, JR's Automotive also hooked me up with this essential item right there, the gray box. That box right there is if the battery goes dead, and the way that thing charges up is while I'm driving. So that's going to be beneficial. Hopefully I don't have to use it. But if I do need to use it, thank you, JR's Automotive, for allowing me to borrow that because that is going to be a lifesaver if it's needed. And then right over there, the little blue thing that you see down there is a poncho. So yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. Right up here at the top, I've got a uh, little green pack that's gonna be filled with uh, everything that I cook with is in there. Um, so that way it doesn't clank around because the last thing that I want while I'm traveling across off-road across the United States is a bunch of clanking and rattling, so. Yeah, so that's it. Hey, guys, listen, I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for the uh, the cool stuff coming up because I'm going to be shooting videos and kind of following along with my whole trip. So I look forward to the trip and uh, ready to go.